Hello guys, welcome to Katarna Kimi channel. In this video, I'll be explaining about all the H1B restrictions and the rules that were, that were discussed in the recent bill that was passed in the Senate S386 bill. You need to be aware of these rules and some people were thinking it as a disadvantage. So please do watch until the end. I'll be explaining very clearly all the important rules. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are here for the first time. And also do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Back guys, if you remember recently I made a video asking you to support the S386 bill by reaching your house of representative. Please, please, I am sincerely requesting you, if you have not done that, I'll be posting the uh, respective video in the description as well as in the above cards. Please watch that video and read that description to reach your local congressman and woman to support this bill. If this bill becomes law, there will be several advantages not only for me, for you, for every one of us who are working in the United States. Trust me guys. Let's not waste time and get into the important rules that were discussed in this S386 bill regarding the H1B. The first important rule is once this bill becomes effective day, once this bill becomes effective within 180 days department of labor is planning to come up with a website such that all the employers can post the respective h1b jobs in that website so that it is available to the whole public so right now if you remember if you know if you are if your employer is filing for your extension or if an employer is filing for a new h1b file on behalf of you they they have to post your respective job in their notice board or as well as in their respective website something like that okay so now this is going to be more public and so that it can reach out to more people so department of labor is planning to come up with a website so all the employers will post this your job respect to description location code all that stuff in that website so that it everyone can view and they need to post at least for 30 days and not uh, the traditional 14 or 15 days that's the first important rule second important rule is all the employers needs to submit the tax returns of their respect to h1b workers to the department of labor secretary so uh, what basically all your w2 forms your company needs to submit to the department of labor uh, we are not sure about how frequent like if it's an every year or uh, uh, how how they're gonna do all this stuff that's gonna be like once this bill becomes law we'll get more details on it and the third this is the most important rule you need to be aware of so if a company has 50 or more employees if a company has 50 or more employees and then among them if uh, if that company has uh, some of h1b and l1 visa holders greater than 50 percent of their total employees capacity then that company is not eligible to file new h1b petitions yes what you heard is correct but they can still file transfers they can still file your extensions for whoever is still working in that company Let's say I'll give out an ex easy example so that it is uh, it can be understandable. So let's say a company has uh, 100 employees and uh, if they have uh, 51, if they have uh, so, like H1 plus L1 visa holders equal to 51, then that, then that company falls into this uh, third rule that I just discussed and they cannot file new H1B applications. So for all the existing 51 people, they can still file the extensions and if any new person is coming, they can accept the transfer, but also they cannot uh, try, they cannot file a new H1B application. So let's say if you are a fresher out of college, then that company cannot hire you because they are already crossing this third limit. Okay. But so people were thinking it as a disadvantage, but let me explain you. Always remember advantage lies in the disadvantage. That word disadvantage itself contains advantage. Okay. Remember here, if, deal, if this bill becomes as a law, and uh, if uh, if this bill becomes as a law you remember that uh, all the people who has i140 for grade approved for greater than two years they can eligible for uh, applying ead right so let's say out of these 51 people which we discussed in the last example let's say out of these 51 people uh, if all of them if uh, uh, at least 40 of them had i140 approved for greater than two years maybe if at least 30 of them will file for the ead then that's good the company falls back under that rule they can still accept the new people right let me give you another example so 
if you if they if this bill becomes as a law okay if you are on your opt you can still you can work with any company on your opt right no company needs to sponsor okay uh, you are on your opt you can be on your opt for two and a half years or greater than that there is a time period i forgot sorry but so if your company files uh, starts your green card processing as soon as you join or maybe after six months of your joining that's good right because once you get your i140 approved and after two years of your approval date you can straight away be on ead you don't even need to get h1b so this is a, an advantage that lies with this s386 bill if it becomes law so all the h1b rules uh, that they are that it, they look very strict and they look uh, you know like uh, those are lots of restrictions and this can cause uh, so many disadvantages but not this is going to be benefit for all the people not only me you for everyone who is uh, really working in the united states and have been in this green card backlog for several several trust me guys if you have not reached out please reach out to your local congressman and woman uh, i'll be providing the appropriate video that uh, you need that you need to go through for uh, sending the email to your local representative guys do let's do this together i'm not sure uh, if this bill is in the calendar if, if, if this bill has been already on the house calendar or not but let's not waste time and let's get this let, let's get this done as soon as possible have a nice day guys bye <laughs>